Hey, good evening everybody. Cold Nights Gaming here. Today we're starting a new series called Incredible Indies. I've selected three wonderful titles to share with you today. So without further ado, let's get into it. First Blood was released by Samurai Punk Games, developers of American Dream and Feather. It is available through LRG and various digital platforms. You play as the titular Roomba, hellbent on defending your homestead from burglars in the night. With a top-down bird's eye view, you roam the house using simple controls to maneuver and hack various items throughout the house to punish criminal invaders. Once the deed is done, you are challenged to clean the best possible percentage of the gory and blood splattered scene as to not cause any trouble or disturbance for your beloved owners. The game is a quick, adorable, and fun play filled with delightful carnage and humor. It can be completed in just a few hours easily, and I highly recommend it. Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight, was produced by Brazilian house Bomb Service and released in 2017. It is the fourth installment in the series. It features tight, responsive combat in a Metroidvania format. The game's true strength lies in its imagery and character design. With stunningly beautiful environments and bosses and characters reminiscent of games like Bloodborne and Elden Ring, it weaves a dark and fascinating story. Kaho is a priestess who has traveled to the great city to put a stop to the curse emanating from a once benevolent queen. With upgrades to her weapons, numerous helpful items, and the ability to turn into a cat to traverse cramped and formerly unreachable areas, Kaho gives Simon Belmont and Samus a run for their money. Totally worth a buy and playthrough, if only for the devilish challenge and beautiful aesthetic. Arietta of Spirits was produced by Third Spirit and released in 2021. It follows the aforementioned Arietta in her journey to bring peace to the spirits who, for whatever reason, cannot move on from this life. With a deep, emotional story about dealing with grief and overcoming tragedy, a lovely art style reminiscent of Stardew Valley, and a fun, challenging Legend of Zelda-esque hack-and-slash combat, this is probably my favorite game on the list. It's a three or four hour journey that quickly builds to a stunning conclusion. It's a short but incredible experience you won't soon forget. I cannot recommend this enough, and it is a perfect way to lose yourself for an evening. In conclusion, I just want to say that independent game developers have a very important place in the video game industry. Sometimes you can't afford a $59 game, but a $5 game that offers a few hours of fun gameplay hits the spot just right. As always, thank you for watching, and stay creepy.